my fellow knights and welcome back to the struggle bus where today we are probably doing one of the silliest decks i have ever come up with i'm caveat or er, uh what is it um not copyright uh disclaimer there you go that's the word i was looking for disclaimer it's not 100 original we're literally trying to we're playing soul tie fight rigging Green for fight rigging, and then black for shakedown heavy and archfiend of the dross, and blue for kraken, all that allow us to trigger rigging the turn we play them. But the twist is, is that we have the wildest combination of cards I've ever seen to trigger off of fight rigging. And I just did this because why not? You guys like off the wall brews? And this one's kind of it. We are trying to play one with the multiverse. And then we're using one with the multiverse to obviously give us card advantage by playing cards off the top of our deck. But we have six cards in our deck that is impossible for us to cast without one with the multiverse. That is City on Fire, which triples damage from all sources coming from all of our sources, which are all big giant creatures that could probably one shot the opponent and Galta because the goal Okay, I'll just go over the deck one time. This is a very linear deck. We are a one trick pony. Here's what we're trying to do. Turn two, play either curate or indulgence to get our combo piece. We're either looking for the fight rigging or one of our ways to trigger. Okay, turn three, play either fight rigging or heavy based on what we think our opponent. If our opponent's leaving up removal, we play fight rigging. If our opponent may be control, right? They're leaving up counter spell, then we'll play heavy so we can save our rigging. Then the next turn, we trigger rigging, or get rigging, get multiverse underneath it, trigger it, and then hopefully get to cast Golta, attack with the big creature to make another 8-8, eight eight, right? For example, I know, I, I kind of got deluded. I'm super excited. It was fun games. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. But play fight rigging, or I guess we play heavy. Play fight rigging, trigger it, attack with shakedown heavy, and attack with a 7-7 seven seven because it got the plus one, plus one counter. So there's a lot of shenanigans going on here. It can get out of hand very quickly. And of course, they know the first part of it. They don't know the second. I did also the fact that soul time means we are able to hard cast the one with the multiverse if the game goes that long should we need to. So there is a little bit of reasoning to keep a city on fire or a Galta in your hand. Keep that in mind. But that is the list, guys. I really hope you enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. If, like, there's just no stress when you're playing a meme deck right you don't expect to win so anything that happens is like icing on the cake right shout out for this video goes out to timothy gone timothy thank you so much my friend for supporting me and the channel really do appreciate you you rock and uh this soul tie fight rigging list is for you my friend so this hand is just missing a fight rigging right we have the lands we have the colors, we have this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. And let's lead off with Death Cap. If we draw a two drop, then we could play our Atawara. If not, we'll just play our Shipwreck Marsh. Um, that was the last thing we wanted to see, honestly. Really wanted to just draw those. That's unfortunate. Let's go here. Looks like we're going up against the artifact list. Interesting. Interesting. Hopefully we get to do our game plan. Um, so this makes... Oh no. There's something that makes everything artifacts. Barn. Legit. I like that. It warms my heart stone. That Every power stone is yet again something we weren't looking forward to seeing. Alright, let's try to kill Karn first. See if they let us draw a card. They do. Play a land. Play Archfiend. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One mana away from that. Celeste is nice. I mean, they have a lot of mana. Wow. They have a ton of mana. This is super neat. Do they have the artifacts for it? Nice. The still have secrets to we have the bounce, thankfully. So, let's just go here. Go to combat. And... Here and here. 
And unfortunately, I think we're... <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is hilarious. All right, so hopefully they tap out for the core titan and then we can bounce everything is my goal which means we're pretty much not going to do anything i think flip it back in the day but yeah i'm, I'm fortunately not gonna not gonna risk anything Okay, okay. That that has some play to it. May actually just straight up die to our Archfiend. So let's see. It's not named, so this is four. So we're actually going to have to hold here. Oh, let's go ahead and taint an Indulgence. So they don't get the free, the extra life. Because we're going to be in trouble here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're so far away. Sure. Pitch that, and then hold. And maybe that's, yeah. Because here's the thing, right? If we had played Archfiend there, then we would have guaranteed we have one more turn. Wow, interesting. Why are they not going for it? What am I missing here? Keep the city on fire because we may play that off of the multiverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One mana shy. I think they got us. Oh, there was the fight rigging. So I should have just pitched that. I think we would have been able to get there. Okay, if they block. Oh, yeah, please block. We need you to block. I will let them gain the life so we don't lose the Archfiend. Because, what, it's, it's a 10 10, right? Yeah, it's a 10-10. We, we, we can push past that. Especially with this combo going on. Can't believe it was one away, man. One away. I mean, I guess there was an argument to, to dig for fight rigging, but with three of them in our hand, I don't think we're going to get a one with a multiverse underneath. So I don't think it was a complete misplay. Okay. Come on, you know you want to block. Okay, cool. Oh, we could just bounce our... No, no, we can't do that. Then we definitely lose. Right? They don't have... Okay, that's fine. Uh, And then, can we play our fight rigging? One, two, three. One, two... We can't, right? No, we can't. Oh, my gosh. Our one piece of interaction has cost us so much trouble. Uh, yep. Pitch a land, I guess, because we want to keep everything else. Send it back to their hand. They get everything back, but it's all tapped. Oh, did we just get rid of it? Oh, we did get rid of it. So we get to pop off here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So. Here. And play the other one for free and then use that one to play Archfiend 
right? So we don't just straight up die. And then I think we could steal it next turn. That's a good that's a good one cuz we can get rid of surge engine. It was too many lines, too many lines. I think we have it though cuz they're not prepared for fight rigging. So this guy is going to do 6 12 18 plus the fight rigging is another 3 so 21. Ah, that the life game might be relevant. This is an awesome game, man. Their deck is super cool. So they're all unblockable, right? Are they not? Can we block? We can't. So this is... Okay, cool. We, we, we survive at one. We survive at one. They take four here i think that's all oh, can we steal this i think we just stole this i think we just stole this so let's play this pay for it i think we just stole this game gold yes we did it we did it! Pay for this, right? I'm not messing up. Three. We put the fire underneath it. Play the fire for free. With this one. Right? Play the land. Then let's go to combat. Put the counter here. Put the counter here because they're going to untap this guy. Play the fire. Play the Gulta. Go to combat. That will trigger. Make a huge tap and attacking dinosaur. Good game. Wow. Oh, negative 120. Dude, that was a game. Oh my goodness. That was a game so close what a game all right my friends this has everything we need uh it's exactly everything we need and we're on the play we're gonna keep it question is now are we gonna get to heavy or are we going to uh yeah i guess there's no go ahead and play the dark six shores first just in case all right let's go with I'll take one here to potentially pull removal or check for instant, right? Hopefully they play a tap land and we can get fight rigging underneath the radar. They did. Okay, I'm going to fight rigging here over heavy. Because what can happen, and I'm not going to draw because we have everything we need. And we... All right, let's go ahead and get fight rigging down over heavy. Because here's what they may do, right? Yes! They may... Leave up removal for the Arch Fiend or the Heavy that we play. We play Kraken. The ward protects it. We get to drop that and then play Heavy. So, I think we stick to the plan. Play this. And hope what their leaving update is. Boom goes the Dynamite. That's exactly why we're playing Kraken. Go here. And now the question, I think we do play heavy. I'm trying to think, do we play heavy or not? It's definitely not Galta. But do we play heavy and still give them a target is my question, right? I think we don't. I think we make them, force them to sacrifice their turn there. Because we know they left up removal. And the thing is, if we have played, it's not Edict. Right? So they're going to take their whole turn here to play that. Which is unfortunate. But if we played heavy, they would have just killed it. So at least we time cycled them. Take up their turn. Right? So we play heavy. Play Galta. And now I like the position we're in. And we even get to play Galta off the top of our deck. So let's do that. 
And we get to play... Look at that. And we even get to play the land off the top of our deck. Wow. Uh, and we will put the counter on the Archfiend. This is on each turn or on your turn? Once during each of your turns. Okay. So we couldn't have done that on their turn. So, I mean, they could still have a board wipe. Or they could just be straight Demir. It's hard to tell with them only playing one card now. But we have two threats on the board. And we have a backup... Okay. Oh, that's that's even better. That is actually exactly what we wanted them to do. Uh, we are going to... Let me think for a second. So let's hard cast this first. I would like to play that, but I also like to smack him in the face. So we're going to play Galta for free. Oh, I guess we could play the land and play... Oh, no, we can't. Archfiend is... But we have another heavy. Go to combat. Put the counter here. Make another 8-8. Eight, eight. Attack. Trigger. 8 you. Bada boom, bada bing. So close. I think that was the correct play. And let's send it back. We have plenty on the board. There's no reason to overextend here. We can curate to try to find our... We are going to... Well, we want to draw that. Path. Destroy all creatures. Right? Okay, fair enough. They're at four. Let me think for a second. Sure. So the white was legit. So we want to draw that. We're one, two, three, four, five. We could play a land off the top. So let's indulgence here. And we're going to get a land so we can pitch the waste. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's just play that off the top for free. Hard cast this. We still have the four. And let's look for... Oh, this draws us cards. So we might as well play that. Leave that on top. Draw that. Heavy. We have we played a land yet? Play the heavy off the top and we'll pay for it. Play the Archfiend off the top for free. And we go to the next turn. Unfortunately, oh, I didn't realize the way we tapped our mana. All right, well, we're still going to play a land here. Let's put a counter here. All right. So let's see. We get to draw some cards. I mean, I think we're going to win. We've drawn a lot. 34 to 46. This has been absolutely fantastic. Shoulder is going to make us kill something. Yep, this one will go down. And I believe that will be game. Oh, oh no, no. Good game. No, we got it. Oh, oh. all right. We're doing all right. All right. This hand, we go. we get to go first and it has everything we need. So, my, we need the fourth land, but I feel like we're going to get there. All right, let's keep it. <clears throat> we can lead off. Yeah, let's just go here. That way, the Dark Lake Shores will give us a chance to play our card draw if we draw it. Excellent, look at that. So, here's the tough part. Are they mono blue? Well, gosh darn it. So, let's wait. Because I don't want to get our fight rigging countered. So we're just going to play our stuff. And what we'll do is start trying to burn their counters. The question is, do we go with Kraken or do we go with Archfiend? Right? Archfiend can block their dude. But Kraken has ward. So I think we lead off with Archfiend. And then we wait for them to play, like, play the Jin, leave open one mana, right? Archfiend has a higher chance of winning, but... Uh, Alright, we don't take any damage, so let's start doing the thing. They counter this. Yep, 
Yeah, luckily we have enough threats. I feel pretty good about this. The sad part is that... Okay, so you're just going to bounce it. Interesting. So do they have another way to search? They don't. So they decide to be mana inefficient. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Ooh. Heavy's kind of nice. Heavy's kind of nice. Let's go with the heavy. That way we play around them having make disappear. And they're going to have to spend another mana to bounce. Now, they could have thirst for knowledge. Right? I guess we could have made it tap where we left up green. So they play around safekeeping, but I don't think they do. So if they have essence scatter, they have essence scatter. There's nothing about it, right? We don't have a follow-up play. Yep. Pay the two. We got our creature. Boom. All right. So hopefully they tap out for a gin, And they think they can protect it. All right. That is good enough for me. I'm going to go here. We're going to try to pop off here. That would have been a nice one to have. They could have negate. So I'm being very risky with this, right? They left up two mana. They could sack the terror. Wow, that worked out really well for them, didn't it? That is a little unfortunate. You don't want to give us the card? Okay. Okay. Counter target with someone mounted by two last counter target red or green spell. Man, that's so funny. We literally had the right spot for him. <clears throat> Question is now, I think we play the Archfiend first. Oh, all right. Well, if they're not going to block. All right, let's go. If they had left up the block, I would play the Archfiend first, but since they didn't. Aha. Okay, okay. Yep. I'll play Archfiend. There's no value, I think, to playing Kraken. Checks out. Do the last card in their hand to bounce. Puts them in a pretty good spot. Puts them in a pretty good spot. I won't lie. So let's see if it's bounce or not. They've played a good game, but now I don't think... It was card draw. Yep. The block. They have a fight spell or something? So it is an instant. We know that much. Maybe protection? Alright. Uh, let's play. So it's an untapped deal damage, right? So. What's the best way to play around this? Let's go here. They'll kill our Archfiend versus this guy at the beginning of each combat. Reservoir card is untapped. Pump may tap. Uh, if they do, tap Reservoir and put a fish in the play. This creature can't be blocked. All right, let's go here. Because I think it's going to be Shore Up. I think it's Shore Up and we... Ah, oh, wait. Okay, we're fine. It's unfortunate. I meant to do it at the end of... Uh, I, I kind of messed up a little bit there. I meant to do it um, after combat, but I think I kind of did my usual thing and spoke ahead of turn. But once again, they can tap it if they want. We have a chump blocker. We crack back. I like where we're at here. Yeah, I think it's shore up. Because they thought about it, and they realized they couldn't save their dude. So let's see if it's a card draw spell or not, shall we? The good news, too, is because of the ward, which is why I played it instead, is the fact that they have to use their mana 
to like more i mean they have seven but that also means that a one mana spell will take them off of doing flow or wealth or fountain fountain so one two three four five six seven we got untapped land off the top man we start one with the multiverse which is where we want to be because then we can go may not kraken we're just going to play it. We're not going to play around them having counter magic. Okay. Hmm. So that's what they had. All right, let's go to combat. They're gonna give us a dude. <clears throat> All right. And then we're gonna play the other dude. And there's no way for us to play two things here. So I think we can do it that way and keep indulgence so this has to be and of course it's mild blue so it's going to be card draw plus right it's card draw into the answer they need so they get in they just have to figure out how to bounce the fish they bounce the fish we're dead okay i like that One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we could have indulgenced main phase to try to hit our land. Okay, we can get rid of this. And then we just double heavy them. Oh, we get to go after it after all. All right, let's go to combat. Attack with everything so they have to block. We could have won. Could have won there. Uh, but that's okay. Let's attack. And let's go heavy. And the other heavy. And I think we're good. I think we got there now. We have enough blockers. They have to... Oh. Maybe not, actually. Maybe not. I think uh, if they have another mist... Okay, Jin's not going to do it. Alright, we're good. We are good. They draw a card, draw a card, uh, tap, tap, and then they take three. So, is there any reason to play stuff before combat? I believe not. Let's play our land. Let's go to combat. We're swimming with everybody. Swing here. We have two blockers. Yeah, maybe I should have... Alright, so fair enough. Let's go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why? Oh, we're in middle combat. That's what it was. Okay. Right. One with the multiverse. Did I punt there? Good game. Yep. Uh, yeah, I guess I punted when we didn't uh, try to play that into the uh, city. City on fire. So, user error. Alright. Uh, yeah, we can roll with this. We go first. We just need a second blue. We got our colors. We can go glade into river. Right? That allows us to play our card draw on two. We get to go here into here. I like this. I think I feel, I feel hopeful. We need one card to make this happen, right? Get a multiverse behind this. 
Bada boom, bada bing. Opponent's in some trouble. So let's see if we can make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Alright, there's one. You know, it gives us a little bit of redundancy. Orsov, they may have destroy evil. We haven't seen Lauren around very much. Abzan. That's going to be a problem. Maybe. Maybe. So we're expecting a uh, Gitrog monster? Oh. Legendaries. Okay. Okay. Heavy is a good one. Heavy is a good one. I think we want to try to get something underneath this as soon as possible. Let's go this way. There we go. All right, all right. Now we're cooking with gas. Thing is, I didn't want to play heavy and then have the opportunity to remove it. I don't think they're going to have something to deal with fight rigging, right? They're going to play a six drop here. They're going to get in. Looks like they're straight Abzan. Glissa. Okay. Glissa is a little annoying, but not the worst. So straight heroes taking three here and liking it. Okay. All right. So... I mean, we're going to combo off here, right? So at least there's that. So let's see if we get the big guns a-going. And she destroys enchantments, which is absolutely amazing. Oh, no. So she tacks on one to everything? Oh, man, that kind of stinks. I didn't even think about that. Oh, that's going to be a little rough. That is going to be a little rough. So what are we sacking here? I think we're going to sack the Drake. I think we're going to sack the Drake. No, we want the Trample. Or the Kraken, I'm sorry. I said Drake, I meant Kraken. They're going to have something to tap for the Kraken. So I don't think that's right. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see if they tap it down or not. I like what they got going on here. This is pretty spicy. Thankfully, oh, they are going to get first strike. Okay. Okay. So that worked in our favor. Because now we have a chump blocker for Nyssa. Or Glissa. I don't know why I said Nyssa. <clears throat> We're not worried about Thalia. So we just protect our enchantments here. I like what they got going on. So we're going to go one, two. All right, hit the land off the top. I like that. Oh, that's spicy. That is very spicy. So can we kill them this turn? We cannot, unfortunately. This costs zero, but we need to play both. So how do we do this? Because these guys have to attack and they untap this guy. So we can get in there with the big dude. We could play this guy for free and just play this guy versus playing this. Is that what we're going to do here? All right, let's play him for free. And then after combat, we'll play this guy. Trigger. Put it here, because we're going to make a bigger dude. We can also make two blockers here if we want. Do we want two blockers? Okay. 
If we make this, we force blocks. I think we make two blockers here. I think we have to make two blockers here. It feels correct to me. It's a little conservative, but I think it's correct. We play another dude. They're going to take it, right? And unless they have a way of giving their guys trample, I think we're okay. Man. The thing is, if we played this, they could have tapped this in response, right? So there's no way to do that. So let's just go here. And now we have four blockers. And we have two life. We're at virtual 13. Okay. I think we still have it. The trick is if they're going to attack with Glissa or not. And I think we're still going to be okay. My reason behind that is because of the fact that we have... Uh, we're going to make a big dude. Or are we going to attack with Evelyn and make a bunch of blockers? They don't have... They're only going to have one creature that's going to have Death Touch. So it's going to stop Galta and everything else. So I'm almost tempted to just make a bunch of dudes. They can untap... One, two, three, four, five. We can go indulgence. Looking for a land and another, another, this is close. Yeah, I think we do it pre-combat. I think we do it pre-combat, which stinks, man. Oh. Did I do it wrong? What do you guys think? This is a close game. <gasps> oh, I freaking called it. Oh my goodness. I called it. Oh, but Athalia. Oh, man. That is the luck for this channel. That is the luck for this channel, man. Let's go here see if they make us some dudes or not they're not so we're alphaing we're alphaing and making another 9-9 and we're leaving these two back because they're just going to die for no reason Think this is correct this is a lot of trample coming over this is yeah this makes me feel pretty good oh, i'm so upset about that that we actually got the card man we actually got the card oh that's so frustrating it was exactly what we called it and thalia just ruined it for us i wonder should i have just I mean, should I have just done the thing? Going here, here, and here? It, it, we would have won. I just didn't want to get... Oh, we wouldn't have lost either. Yeah. Hmm. We had, what, did we, we, what did we have? We had a heavy and a kraken. And they could have prevented both. As far as I'm aware, there's no way to tap, right? To give Thalia Death Touch? They're, oh, they're just going to sack this. No, it's only tokens. Okay, this is looking pretty good for us. Especially since we're going to follow it up with a heavy. Ah, still like a little... Yes, kill her first. Uh, let's kill him first. And then everyone else will die. Yeah, there's no, there's no way to split these two. It's interesting to killing the Kraken. This is going to get through, right? Am I missing something? Tap an untapped creature or untap another target creature or land you control. Okay. 
So they can't like give Thalia this one first strike. They're gonna save something. That's not enough though. I think. So they're not dead because of first strike, but they lose a good amount of their board, right? And the rest still trickles over. Three, two. Can I can I do more here? I can't. And I have to, yeah, bummer. Okay, okay. We still got there. Oof. Man, that was fun. That was fun. Wanna keep this hand really bad, but it's really bad. So we're just gonna ship it. There we go. Uh double black, green. Alright, let's keep this and we'll tuck the Galta. So now we're just going to use our curate to find our fight rigging. Oh my goodness. Bada boom, bada bing. Can we make it happen? We got what we need. Problem is, is that we're playing Esper, which means they have more. Oh. Oh. We may have a window. There may be a window here for us. They're on the play, so that helps them a lot. But... If we get lucky here, if we get lucky, we can potentially lay the smack down. Right? The problem is that they're legends, so they're going to have a Lauren. So let's see if we can... Uh, keep the city on fire? Man, that stinks. There's really no way. Because City on Fire for... Alright. We need to... No. So we're going to draw the land. And tuck the City on Fire. No. We need the City on Fire. Get rid of the land. Yeah. I think this is correct. Oh, man. Oh, but it's... <sighs> That's awkward. That's real awkward. Alright. Alright fight rigging maybe we draw maybe we draw right yes 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 okay okay so we need untapped land off the top we get untapped land we play our kraken play our kraken we play our one with the multiverse and then jam out an arch fiend yes i think there's a chance right we just need them Hopefully they do what everyone else has done and left up removal and they can't handle the ward. Oh, we did draw the land. All right, let's try to see if the ward will get there. Yes. Did they mess something up? Oh, oh man, that was huge. That was huge. That's why nothing happened. Because it was negate. Good on them, man. Good on them. <sighs> we had the thing, too. I, I thought we were good. They just drew that. They just drew that because it didn't happen. <sighs> we're going to get wrecked. No. No. I mean, it's a good player. Good job, opponent. Good job, Areno. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. Play this guy. Play this. Get a counter. I mean, do we? Do we have? Should we have just not done anything? All right. So they sack the witch and then they kill us. Yeah, good game. Yeah, man. Oh. We had all the stuff in line. All of it. Oh, man. If we had black, this would work. Fortunately, it does not. So I'm going to mulligan. There we go. This is this is great. We're going to keep this. Just missing a blue. Let's tuck the Galta. Because we cannot quite cast that. We can cast the one with the multiverse. Uh, let's go here. Give the opponent as little information as possible. 
All right, now it's going to be pretty critical for us to pop off the fight rig on turn four. We're going up against an aggressive gruel list with a good start. Good news is Archfiend could potentially stem the bleeding a little bit. Thank you, deck. So I'm feeling pretty good. Let's see. Can we get a multiverse here? We cannot, but we do have a Galta. So that seems good. We aren't going to be able to attack with it right away, but I think the fact that we can make a ton of 1-1s makes me feel pretty good about life. So they're going to get to draw two cards here. Really solid. Down to nine. Down to nine, and they have a full... Oh, we were one card shy, guys. One card shy. Down to eight we go. Put the counter, play Zagulp. And... Get X Vampire Creature Tokens with Lifelink where X is the number of other attacking creatures. So we're only going to get one dude here. Ooh, checks out. See how they attack. Cool, cool. So take five here. It's the correct way to block here. Oh, we can just kill him on the crackback, can't we? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so we block here and here no they draw a card this way we draw it here and then we just kill them yeah we kill both those things we kill them on the crack back okay we're good we got there yep apparently go archfiend into galta is good enough oh we should have blocked more damage do they have the play with fire do they have the play with fire they did not but they do have a block, but not anymore. So, bounce. Oh, we didn't even get to do the thing. Was there a different way to block? Yeah, okay. So that was my bad. We should have blocked a three and not worried about them drawing the card off the bird. So, oh man, mediocre play. It could have cost us the game there. Well, I mean... We have a turn. Oh, we can't play Indulgence, though. Hmm. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. I have faith in our deck building. I would have liked to be able to play the Indulgence on two. But unfortunately, I don't think that is going to work. All right. <clears throat> Could have pitched. Pitched the land if we needed to. Okay, when it comes out the gate swinging, of course we draw a double, a double blue card. Why would we not have drawn a double blue card? Well, good news is, is that we wouldn't have played anything anyways, so that's good, right? Mono white. So we're looking for a heavy here, right? Looking for a heavy. The problem is heavy will lose to the... Uh, Hey, look at that. Cool. So, let's pitch. What are we pitching? I don't want to pitch one with the multiverse. Maybe, yeah, we probably just should pitch one with the multiverse. <clears throat> They're leaving up removal. So, here's the awkward thing, right? This thing's going to have two counters on next turn. So, they can remove it to get rid of the fight rigging. And they left up mana. All right, this is going to be an Emperor, probably. <sighs> sure. I didn't get a blue source. So here's the thing. I think we're going to go ahead and go here and play Archfiend. And my reasoning behind that is that, I mean, either either thing we play, they're going to kill, right? So, let's hope that... Okay, ossification. All right, fair. Oh, that's right. They didn't have... I forgot. Thalia hits them as well. Oh, it wouldn't have gotten a counter. Oh, we should have done that. That was... I punted. I forgot they wouldn't have gotten a counter. It... Ugh... 
That's what I get for playing brand new. All right, let's go here, and we are going to do the thing now. Oh, silly me. We 100% could have gone off. I forgot that this thing only gets a counter if the creature's larger. Um... Guess we go with Archfiend over doing this stuff, which is a bit of a bummer. One, two, three, four, five. Still looking for that curate. I don't think we're in trouble. We can save oh, all right. Yeah, there we go. Have courage. Okay, so now we are. So we need a blue source. We did. Wow, that's going to be touch and go. So this is awkward because the Kraken, they can tap something to do it. All right. Take the one. Play the dude. Go here. Play the dude. Can they jump two things? They can. I think we're just dead, right? Yeah. We're just dead. Good game. Needed to do it the other way around, unfortunately. That was my point, but it is what it is.